You will have to forgive me tonight. It is uh, particularly cold here in the studio. <laughs> it is particularly cold and damp in here. And again, we'll get to that in a little bit. We'll get to everything in a little bit. I figured we were due for a little shed time today. Overall, I am very uh, pleased with, with the way I see things developing right now and the flow and the pace at which things are happening. Uh, this video business is killing me. Two weeks ago, I mentioned uh, the end of the month, which we're coming up on. Uh, there's this interestingness with work and finances, like the work has been low, but I've been taking care of my shit. I'm taking closer note to things. I have cut my hand several times over the last few days in random stupid ways. One's like a cardboard paper cut and the other two were uh, soda tab. I was pulling the soda tabs off. And so, right hand, ooh, right side of the body, masculine, father, well, obviously. Right side of body, giving out, letting go. All right? Masculine energy, men, the father. Uh, I balance my masculine energy easily and effortlessly. Oh, done. All right, so I can see that. That's actually kind of been a long-term thing. Then we've got thumb. Fingers, fingers, fingers and thumb. Thumb represents intellect and worry. And index finger represents ego and fear. Alcoholism. Hey, let's take a look at this. What's the use? Feeling of futility, guilt, inadequacy, self-rejection. All right. Cuts. Punishment for not following your own rules. See injuries and wounds. Injuries. Anger at the self. Feeling guilty. It's making total sense so far. I'm on, I got it. I'm on it. It makes sense. And what was the other one? Oh, wounds. Wounds. It's anger and guilt at the self. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Ponderments. It's true. It's all true. Who can argue that? Full moon. Check. Somebody else is in the sky right now. Is that Mercury or Mars? Whoever that is, is playing a little dance. Root, navel, sacral-ish. It all makes sense. It's, the thing is, it's nothing new. It's just me not getting it right, not doing it. So I wanted to touch base on that, because I really do. This, incidentally, is uh, Louise L. Hey, Heal Your Body. It's this little guide map to all of the things here, here, and here that affect us. Here. Okay, so... Game time! This book is a guide for the advanced soul, a book of insight. And uh, I'll take this a lot of times to to events just for fun. Like, you don't even have to get a reading for me. Just stop and talk to me for a little while, and I'll introduce you to the book. The first question is, have you ever heard of bibliomancy? Now, this is a form of divination uh, involving books. And the whole idea is you stand in front of your bookshelf and you hold a thought in your head. Whatever your question, your worry, your concern, you, you, you hold it. And when you feel ready, you reach for a book, whatever book. And you open the book to the first page it opens to. You put your eyes on the first paragraph that you put your eyes on and you read it. And this is supposed to associate to the <coughs> thought, worry, or concern. This book is designed with that entire purpose in mind, and I meant to give this explanation before I even picked it up, but I picked it up and opened it. So, let's see. The first thing was, the impossible is possible when you, 
when people align with you. When you do things with people, not against them, the amazing resources of the higher self within are mobilized. Wow. Psh! Ah! Hey, what would you guys charge me to put in a headlamp? I have the lamp, I just can't get to the fucking thing and it's starting to piss me off. What on your yeah. Alright, that works? Alright, then we'll stop in quick on my way back. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, ask and ye shall receive. No, I couldn't get to this headlamp, and, and I'm beginning to think that Chrysler really liked mechanics. Because they don't really make anything easy to get to in that shit. You must be. We're gonna read the page I skipped first. You must begin. <laughs> To trust yourself. Psh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Nisa made comment about I don't want to be on Facebook. And this was rather random. And I'm assuming she was being a schnutzer. Um, because she was quite temperamental at that particular moment. Um, and I never really thought I would have to face this with them, uh, but if that's really how she feels, or even if that's how Michaela feels, then I can't, you know what I mean? So I want to talk to her a little bit, both of them a little bit more about it. And now we are into phase two of the bedroom project. It's Tuesday morning. Phase two involves cleaning, hanging some paintings, Getting the regular stuff out while putting the Christmas stuff away. I am a kid, but well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, like one. That's who asked you. Green. Six. I think theme of the week was it's my life. It's my life. Welcome to my life. You, you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. There's a time you gotta go. Um, so there's zaniness, and there's, there's tension and turmoil and, and despicableness, and there is difficulty and there is poverty but there is blessing and there is love and there is you know what i mean like it, it just is what it is what it is what it is my week my week was so crazy my week was just i don't know odd it was very odd <laughs> there's just no other word for it I only had one day of work and it just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back until the very last minute. Uh, but some stuff got done. I got a lot of work done on the return. So I had the day of work. Um, I had a night with the girls for dinner. The girls were here for the weekend. We had a good time. Uh, we tried to make cake pops. This was a failed experiment for the first time around. Yeah! Cause it's my life, and you're in it now.
bitches.